Hi everyone, this is Edit of Chan. We're back again with the Rome 2 Total War Divide Tempera mod. A senior campaign. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that's a li nice city. I like that. That's pretty nice, pretty decent. It is crueler to be always afraid of dying than to die. I'm not gonna lie. Fear can really wreck your quality of life. See, so yeah, I think that was Seneca the Younger. That is true. Living in fear can really wreck your quality of life. So I agree. Well done. Well said, old man. He's, he's 2,000 years old. <laughs> That's quite old man. Uh, <laughs> All right. There we go. Finally. Um, okay. So we have come to the realization that we cannot invade until we have control over the strait. We absolutely and essentially we must have control over the strait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can actually raise some forces here at Camilla Down. And uh, okay, what I said was I was going to not make a family member. What's that? What's the red? Excuse me. What's the? Isn't the red adoption? Or is it like, you better do this right because it's the last one. Looks like it's the last one because... So wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, his death actually hit my family tree even harder than expected. Ooh, yeah, we're definitely using... Um, how shall I say, some friends to do this. Busamaros! Busamaros, are you, are you loyal? Are you, um, hmm, Balatorix? Balatorix? 26. He's pretty young. Balatorix might be a good one. Let's take Balatorix. Let's make a, a fleet with Balatorix. Balatorix. Uh, Baros. Ah, Balatorix. There you go. Reinstate the legacy of the Seekers of Lioness. They are lions. Yes, Moribotros. So these are sword followers. Well, Celtic Slingers is where? Where's the freaking the the shooters? Where's the bow people? I can't see any bow people. So you need more everything. So we're gonna turbo load <coughs> this fleet with this freaking ship, and we're gonna make these people's lives a nightmare. We're just gonna have to. We have no other choice. We're just gonna have to keep shooting at them. And sink in their ships until they give up. Because we cannot invade if we can't get control of the strait. Of the um the channel. Oh, it's too much, too much money. You're charging too much money. I can't do it. For the tribe, for the people, for the nation. Uh let's see. <clears throat> Man. Uh you know what? I'm gonna do that anyway at some point, so might as well. Might as well do it now. Save on the cash. Ooh, uh, would you have wanted to do that? Uh, I don't, can't remember. Um, got some missile units. I've got some charge for all cavalry. Cavalry, cavalry. So this is cavalry. This might help. Let's do the bowman. Bowman! Because he got bowman. Although I'm, I'm quite curious about getting the scutjans. Scutjans! Give them, what the frick? That's the, where's my scutjans? No, I thought I had Scutjans. Where's my freaking the bowman? I oh, I'll probably find them at some point. Umbuck toy might finally be irrelevant. Melee defense. Oh, high morale. High, oh, much high armor. These guys are gonna do it. But it ain't gonna be cheap. <coughs> so I'll have to see. Okay, next turn. <coughs> Okay, so we got a health child bone. Fantastic. Oh, no, no. Days here, sorry for. Oh, man. And, <clears throat> and military reforms are stretching from east to west. It's terrible. <clears throat> We're gonna struggle. Let's see. It's a rough. It's a rough time. Let, oh, yeah, finally. Do you have the old aunt? Okay, so it didn't stop him. She didn't deter him. <laughs> He managed to hold his ground and proliferate the family tree. There we go. <coughs> Couldn't find the words. 
Let's just see. Uh, can you slightly? Just slightly. Oh, it's even worse if I'm not there. That's new. Oh, another. What the heck, man? Let's see. Uh, is there a local rat? Local rat to placate. Local rat, I'm gonna placate ya. Let's make my people a bit happier. Let's see. Uh, is it money? Yeah, is it a bit of money? It's a bit of the money. Causing some trouble. And one thing that really unsettled me when I thought about it is how did the enemy garrison army at Eolio Bona get that strong? So I don't know if. If there's a, a reform upgrade that happens to the Britannic warriors or something, because the warriors up to that point were just like freaking, I don't know, um, farmers. And suddenly they were a decent fighting force. It really took me by surprise. I don't know if that's the case. Um, yes! But yeah, we're going to be rebuilding the navy and we're going to have to keep a good eye on everything. Hopefully our, our garrison troops are getting stronger because frick, at some, you know, I keep wanting to say at some point this disadvantage has to disappear, but it, it doesn't seem to. It just looks like it's part of the game, of the mod at least, that it's just this much of an uphill battle. Yeah, ne next turn. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Let's see. Is it the same family? It's the same family because I think these turn to six months. That's a bit unusual. I don't think... Wait a minute. Aye! <gasps> the withered root of the tree still produces fruit. It's beautiful. <clears throat> well done, my bro. Even in death, he still serves. It's fantastic. So, a true freaking... I say any dreadnought, it seems. Uh, okay, let's let's build up. We will. We Oh, frick, you know it. We're gonna need a huge... Fl oh, no. It's specifically because of what these freaking pirates are doing that I want the fleet as well. And I was literally contemplating the previous turn. Hey, it's quite cool that nobody bug, uh, bugs Tamir, but looks like they've caught me. They're starting to see, hey, we can take advantage of them. Which, oh, I don't have the garrison to fight them. Please don't do this to me. Okay, I, I have to get this navy built up faster. <laughs> They're coming to freaking take everything. Okay, let's just do a quick review of the populations. Uh, popul oh, still cause frustration. But it's just the Wowly. The Wowly is going down. Central is not too... Oh, goodness. Why is the lower classes so infuriated by taxation? Okay, we got the money. We got the money. Let's just reduce taxation so we don't lose our population. I think it's also public order. Public order is also driving some of the losses. I don't want to freaking lose everything. We might as well get a public order up faster, get our morale up faster, and just, just get everything on board faster, because I need to turn this island around. I can't believe how much damage one turn invasion could have done to my freaking future. It's, it's really messed up. Seven. At least that'll be ten. So they'll be able to feasibly take something on. But it'll still be a while before we can really take all, because we're going to annihilate all piracy and everything. We just need to keep control of these waters. Let's see next turn. Okay, tax labor. Got some more cash, I hope. Oh man, our cash flow is hitting the the dirt quite fast. Let's see. Oh, I got some ram damage. Just three three percent movement speed. It's not too bad. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. No worry. We'll think about it. It's gonna be, uh, I thought this would reduce the banditry. Where's my friggin' banditry reduction? <coughs> Half when do culture is not dominant. Oh man. Uh, that's pretty. Gives me some cash. This gives me some. Some cash, maybe? Some cash? Yes, from culture. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Uh, ooh, this might be a good one. Not much beyond that. Uh, let's see. Pretty long. Okay, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's get some some movement speed for our armies. Uh, Greek in history. These people are doing all sorts of things. Um, <laughs> this is not a place for that. 
We're just doing what we can. Um, ooh, ooh, let's see. It's ten of them. Uh, they, uh, nah, okay, let's just try. Let's try and freaking get out of here. Because then we can actually train the rest up. I can train them up at East Cup. I don't want to train them up at Camelot Down all the time because we'll lose valuable time we need to take those pirates on with. Yes, get out of here, you scum. You scumbag. Scumbags trying to steal everything. There you go. Wow, that was a long gap. They really fled far away. Um, Moribotros. Yeah, and good strong boats for once, not these shipping vessels. Oh, you see. Oh, oh, oh. These pirates are a blight upon our people. They just will not stop until we're all in rebellion. It's, be it's beautiful words. It's beautiful. But we gotta get them. Come on, local rat. Oh, local rat's already entertaining the people and they're still not too happy. We are struggling with our joy. Oh, you know what? I haven't really done my freaking... My peace plans. Peace plans. Leave me alone. I'm foolish. I want peace. How about you guys? You guys want some peace? Oh goodness! Stop insulting me for brave and foolish. Get get out of here. Get go go. Let's let's go next turn. Oh whoopsie whoopsie. Salmaros Salmaros, how you feeling? You gonna oh yeah save some cash. Uh, get some fury in there. Uh, morale. Uh, yeah, let's get some morale up there. Yeah. Okay, so next turn. Okay, faction destroyed. Fantastic. Oh no, the Simbri! That used to be my. Oh, frickin' heck. Enemy transports. Get back out of here. Are they gonna have assistance from the town? They probably will. They probably will, but I can cover it. Look, I can cover it. So we should be able to handle this. Let's see. Oh, decent range. Whoa, ho, ho. very decent range. I would love to attack him, but I just have this feeling if I do that these guys are going to help him because it's been so many times that that's been the case. And they've got an unusually long grip or reach of defense. Yeah, we're going to well, we're going to get up to 16. That'll definitely give us the strength to take on these sons of Brennus. So don't worry, don't worry. I'm pretty sure we'll have it. They'll probably try and take that stretch. Well, if I think about it, my fleet's still there, so let me actually go over here. <coughs> and wait for them. I'd be like, what do you mean? My fleet's there! Like, come on! They can't possibly attack my city with my fleet right there. Like, at some point, this, this ball needs to stop. You can defend. You know you can defend. So stop, stop telling me that the freaking people are defenseless. Uh, you will get ya, don't worry, we'll, people, we will save your lives from these vile, treacherous, freaking pirates. We'll save your lives, don't worry. Oh, it's only nine. They're whittling down. I thought there were like 15 of them. Maybe I should attack in the next turn. Let, let's do it. Let, oh, well, let's, let me just check here. Uh, what's going on with the family? He's still alive. He's made this one here. That's beautiful. Oh, nine, ten, oh. Do we suffer ever? Oh, we lost so many people. Our family tree cannot take this type of shaken. Like, there's so much child mortality already happening. We can't take the shake of defeat. But okay, let's go to the next turn. Looks like my um, tactics have scared away the fleet. They ran up and fled into town into France. Now, once again, middle finger from the game. Middle finger received, middle finger acknowledged. That he could just leave the freaking ocean, get onto land and run away. If it was me, I would have had to stop after landing on dry, dry land because I would have lost my movement range. But no, for the freaking computer, it just ain't the same. Sorry, but it's middle finger received, middle finger acknowledged. I can see it. I can see it. It's, it's a heap of bowl. It's, it's a bit too much. It's too much in your face. Like, just a bit a bit more fairness, in all honesty. <laughs> it's, it's so freaking <laughs> messed up. Okay, so we've got about 16 of the best units and our cash flow struggling to cope. So, <clears throat> I've resolved to send my fleet. Take down these scrumpy raiders that are ruining everything. We'll get ya. I will not have you destroy my cash cow, which is Calabo Caledonia et Habernia, which we we get decent amounts of my... Ooh, look at that Botha class. 
Dang, that's big. But the only way we can keep it that way is by protecting it from the ravages of the front line. So yeah, it's gonna stay that way. We'll get those pirates. We'll get them good. Uh, can you? Yeah. We're gonna keep pushing into the joy for Botanic because the faster we get the joy up, the faster I can raise my tax rate again. Um, without losing more people because the people are frustrated. The people can't take it. Look at that. Public order is driving them crazy. So I need to get that under control and not lose it again. And the only way to do that is to keep control of the seas. So let's do it to the next turn. Okay, so yet another middle finger received and acknowledged. Look at that. He came back from dry land and ran halfway past the channel. This is some freaking... Mmm. Now, <clears throat> I'm probably gonna regret this either way. I cannot pull my fleet back. I won't. I probably should, but no. We have to take a stand and end this piracy. We have to. We have no choice anymore. They keep ruining everything. These pirates need to be dealt with. And it'll probably result in the freaking enemy fighting me or trying to take one of my cities which I don't want but I, I can't keep doing this we have to resolve these problems that's the biggest problem we have to resolve them it needs to end and oh that's heavy I, it's it's just a war of attrition and it's not that we're losing, it's just that their movement is not the same as our movement. They're not even in the same league. Like, these guys are so much more maneuverable than we are. That's the problem with this. It's not that they're freaking better or anything, it's just they move like five times further than we do. How are we supposed to freaking compete with that? Let's do that one. Especially when we're at a channel, like, it's heavily dependent on our ability ooh, to embark and disembark. And these guys can do it like it's nothing. But for us, it's basically a whole turn that's lost when they are embarking and disembarking. So it's real messed up. This is a very ancient army, actually. But I can't get rid of them now because they're very experienced. I don't want to get rid of such experienced troops. Was it? Ah, oh yes, so this is what they are. I thought they were going to be scoot yarns. 151 versus 118. Missile damage 12, missile damage 17, range 182, 198. Oh, man. Uh, what's rate of fire? Shots per minute 6, shots per minute 7. Oh, man, they're actually better. <sighs> that's very tempting. Oh, man. I'll keep... I'm not going to leave the city because that's just bait because they've got such unusually long movement range they'll be able to take that on. <gasps> I can actually see their movement range. It's beautiful. And if they get to dry land then we'll just have to deal with that when, when it gets to us. But unfortunately I, I just couldn't take it anymore. We have to deal with the piracy. So that's what that ended up with. Uh, what would I do with this? If I had to build something... Uh, I want to take this one, but I'm scared that I take the wrong one. And then I'm really messed up. And we can build more agriculture. Where's it? Tamir Dunedin. Dunedin! It's hard to believe Dunedin's not the capital here. Uh, let's see. You, what can you become? You can become a waste of food or become an even bigger waste of food. Fantastic. I mean, beyond that. So, uh, pfft, that's not much. It's, it's a waste of my time. We've got these guys. They, oh, don't take food. Hey, what the heck? You guys don't take food? That's, that's something else. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, migration edict. Duerde Ambaktoi. But we got these guys. So do we do we really need more? Uh, we're going to get that Nematown. Pona, what are we gonna get? These guys don't make much. Where's the where's the wealth? Ah, 400 wealth from entertainment. But negative regional income. What the frick? <clears throat> so that's sort of a crossed out benefit there. Hmm, if I do this, uh, we can get more food. Ah, can we get leather somehow? Is there a way to get leather? It doesn't seem like it. These guys say they, they need 
They need horses, but they don't really elaborate on much more than that. Ooh, got some income from livestock ranches. Got some. Ah, oh, there we go. That gives them some cash. That doesn't give me much cash. This doesn't give me cash. Why, why the freck's my cash? I thought these things made cash. Goldsmith in agriculture. I think you messed up the the order there. Ooh, canals from farming. Do we have canals? Do we have canals? Oh, we don't have canals. What's that gonna do again? Let me just see. <coughs> plus plus ten. Plus twenty sanitation and growth. Sanitation. I don't know if sanitation gives my people joy. I hope it does. It looks like canals would be a good way to go. Maybe. I mean, we still got some expansion, so let's do canals. Let's do it. And then I'm uh, just gonna have to hope that the system stops beating me over the head with all the cheats. Be fair for once. Just be fair. Okay, uh, next turn. Okay, fantastic. Look, um, we did something real good. <clears throat> I'm quite pleased with it. I'm quite pleased. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, freaking. Oh, no. We're losing. Oh, man. This is so unproductive. Losing everybody. Freaking. At least it's not our family, but it could be quite bad. Gobi, Gobanito, sounds it, <laughs> sounds Italian, <laughs> but yeah, it's beautiful. Gesorios, please survive. I know it's snowing outside, but please, please survive. Okay, so we did the right thing, which is good to know. It's good. It soothes the conscience. We did the right thing when we um, <clears throat> avoided. We, ah, when we pushed through and fought the pirate fleet because it was a feint, they headed back inside. So fantastic, middle finger right back to the computer. You thought you could trick me, you very nearly did, and I would have wasted yet another turn. So good on us, good on us, middle finger to the computer, we did it. Um, okay, now put the middle finger down, we're gonna chill. And we're gonna get some perspective. So we're building a farm, oh, what's this? Kettle farm. Kettle farm is gonna make some public order issues. So we'll just wait on that for a while. We are already so strained. I don't want to strain us further. That's a lot of cash, but the banetry goes up too. I want to fix the banetry. So you need to invest in some siege stuff as well. <coughs> but okay, okay, so for now we're just holding. We got some cash, so I'm gonna disband two slingers. I think what I'll do is I'll do a halfway solution. Because we've got oh What the heck is this? <clears throat> melee attack ten. These guys have a melee attack of nine. They've got own oh, oh if they had more armor they would be very interesting, because these are slingers and spearmen. But here's the problem. Slingers are archers, and archers are weak against cavalry. So you're telling me you take the weak soldier type that's usually the most vulnerable to cavalry, and you give them a dual role as the people that are supposed to be fighting the cavalry. That can go very, very south very, very fast. So I'm not falling for this one. I'm not doing it. Sorry, I'm definitely not doing this one because it seems this... I'd put them against cavalry and they would just fall apart and I'd be like, but I used them as my spearmen. So that's a no for me. I'm not going to do that. These guys still have a melee attack of 12 and they've got not much more armor, but I'll take take the good old scootyans. I'm just calling them scootyans because I'm used to the term. Um, essentialate. Oh my goodness. They're essentialate. <sighs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I, didn't, I thought they were freaking... Both us, at least. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, these two... Oh, man. We got him on the cheap. We got the cheap freaking good soldiers now. Oh, that's beautiful. The reforms have definitely benefited us. What's this Katoy? Katoy the cheap one. Get out of here. We're not going to use you. Albio Wadelow. So they're just raiders. So they got no armor. I don't like the lack of armor. Okay, we'll see what... Oh, goodness. That's already a... <clears throat> decent benefit. We'll see where we get to because I need to slowly creep reform into this army. 
without sacrificing unit skill or cash. So it's going to take a while. But my fleet will just decimate the, the channel until we get there. Let's, let's roll to the next turn. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's see. Mission issue to get a spy. Ah, spy is not too bad of an idea. Okay, so it seems we are getting it down. <clears throat> enemy fleet. A lot of the enemy fleets merely retreated. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I might as well. I might, oh, wait, let me, let me restock. Let me at least get to 15. So we are at least a semi-formidable force. I'll just chill out here. Because... Now we got a little bit of this, a little bit of this in there. We'll slowly work through. Let's see, let's see what else I can recruit. Uh, Spearman, Spearman, you guys are good. He's got, oh, it's only 150 of them. Nah, man, I need my Mbaktoi. My Mbaktoi can at least cover a longer stretch. Let's see, what's, what else is it? Korea Row, I'm not gonna touch ya. 150 on these guys, 197. They're a bit cheaper than the freaking um, Tega Sluggos. I'm not touching the Arroy. I know the Arroy are strong, but there's something wrong with the phalanx when I use them. They don't they don't properly do a phalanx, they just use their freaking swords. Which I'm like, okay, I'm not touching this then. Not touching it, not doing anything with it. 288, 212, uh, but you guys were very disappointing. <clears throat> to say the least, you are very disappointing. Ooh. Oh, these guys. Uh, yeah, professional key. You were very disappointing when I used you. I wasn't pleased at all. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me see. This 17, 17, 14, 18, 23. Oh. Oh, we're weaker on everything. Armor 38, base model 73. 38, 63. Ah, come on. Speed. Of, wow, these guys are weak. Come on, heavy swordsman. Why are you so weak against my. So just uh, freaking mercenaries. They're supposed to be mercenaries. They're not supposed to be my peak, but it appears they are. Uh, well, I, it looks like we've got the best of the best, at least for now. Like these guys are decent. Let me see again. 10, 10, 24, 22, 24. Uh, some bonus against cavalry, an elephant, wherever that happened. Lots more armor and slightly more. Um, Slightly more morale, but is it worth it? Like they double the morale, they double the cost, less units. I think Amoktoi would still do better. I think the Amoktoi would still do better because these guys can hold and they're already full, fully leveled. So I'd keep them. They're cheaper and I think they're gonna do a better job than getting new soldiers uh, at this point. If they're annihilated, we'll get to it, but no, I don't think that's necessary right now. Okay, we're still turbocharging to get this province up and running again. I want to get it positive. I'm gonna fix this public order problem and get beyond that and freaking work towards towards a brighter future. Okay, you guys, you got an enemy fleet. We're not touching that fleet because we know that fleet means trouble. But just look at that reach. That reach is definitely about as large as my own, if not larger. Oof. Otherwise, I could I could consider getting a, an agent. Huh? Getting an age out. How old are you? You are... 51. Wow, she's still quite young. I thought she'd be like 80. <clears throat> I mean, she's been here for forever. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But yeah, only 20 years have really passed since my escapade started. Okay, next turn, next turn. We're gonna start getting control of this place. Okay, so they have amassed a large really really like for, for real really really for for, for freaking real are you seriously telling me like oh metal fingers goodness is this game annoying you can't go five freaking turns it's just oh, every single time you got Hey, look, there's an army on the border. Oh, fire! Like, frickin' heck! Stop it! Can I just have a few moments of peace? Oh, this is annoying. Okay, so we got two enemy transports freaking coming. Let's wall it up with this frickin' place with the fires. Yo, oh, I'm annoyed. <laughs> I'm so annoyed by this. Um, they've... 
assembled a pretty formidable force. As one would expect from them too. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna have to up my freaking taxation either way. Because we're not gonna be able to sustain this much longer. And we've suffered long enough. If these people want to be grumpy and leave, then uh, at least we got public order fixed to a degree. So, yeah, I think we can do it. We can. Oh, stop it. We can carry it through. We should be able to carry it through from here. We just need to not lose this freaking territory. Uh, I'll move them because I don't want to lose that. And you are close enough to town. You should be close enough to town. But because I'm so suspicious of the crazy nonsense that this game pulls. Like, huh, you, you were two meters away from the shore. Ha ha, you were not participating in the battle. <laughs> like, I'm, okay, fine, fine, middle finger again. I'm not going to freaking play your games. I'm going to make sure my people are there. Because this freaking, this thing takes every middle finger and every cheap shot it can at you. It's like, ha ha. Meanwhile, the enemy moves like three times the range, and oh, we're not affected by anything. It's just, oh, I get annoyed, man, I get annoyed. It's not the battles, it's the tactical map crap. <laughs> it's too much, it's too much to take. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this to upgrade, because I'm, I'm sick and tired of these stupid fires. They're ruining everything. And then, yeah, we, we got this under control. We should be able to hold them off. Uh, hopefully. Just, just don't go too far. Don't go too far, man. You're ruining my life. But let's see what they do. Let's see what they do. Okay, so it looks like they've gone with a split approach. Now, what I think is going to happen, I'm going to put these guys in on amb... Ah, I'm going to put these guys on ambush stands. Yeah. Foundation of the Parthian Empire. Oh, man. Sir, to India. All lands and traitors are under Parthian government. A vast empire reigns. Supreme in the east and armies swell in numbers and grandeur. Mm hmm. Before they became the Sassanids. But yeah. Uh, all taken over by the Sassanids. So, I think what's going to happen. Don't, don't be so aggro. Uh, is we're going to get. What the heck? Why can't you. Oh. I ran out of air. Aye. Well, I hope this is enough. I hope this is enough to deter the people. Where's Iska? Iska, you got a grand... At least you got some more... Muragas, um, Tessas... Ah, I hope that's enough. These guys will just have to upgrade by themselves. Fix by themselves. I'm not paying for that. Get out of here. Um, so, But I think what's going to happen is this fleet's just going to go... Whoosh, or whoosh, and suddenly... Um, wreck whatever battles on uh, is happening which I hope the seekers of lioness can handle this mmm that's 13 plus a whole but the problem is that's a whole freaking 20 oh 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 they're not gonna be weak these guys are still training and you know they're gonna be hiring and running because this is just freaking the way it goes Bellatorix, I'm worried about you. I worry. Maybe we should just incorporate three of them just to be safe. Uh, I'd rather risk, you know, some dollars going missing than losing my whole freaking city again. I just can't keep losing the city again and again and again and again and again. It has to stop. We have to stop and get control of this freaking channel. The only way we can go forward. So let's just see what the next turn brings. Oh, wait a minute. Samarau. Samar oh, wait, you're, you're here. Okay, Samarau. You're a bit inexperienced, but we're going to get to it. Let's see. What's this? Uh, morale, ammunition. Yeah, I'll only reuse that one for real. 5% rate for units. Uh, let's. You got some some archers, so we might as well put that in there. Yeah, that's just, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Let's get to the next turn. Here we go. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. They're doing this. They're doing the double up. Let's see. Per I'll take Peric victory any day. Peric victory. I'll take Peric victory very high. 29%, um, I'll take Peric. I don't want even moderate, I'll take this. I, I know it's rough, but I'll take a Peric victory at this point. I do not want them to land. 
So leave. Your turn is wasted. Leave. I'll take it. I'm not going to take that chance again. Like I did last time uh, long ago with the Simri. <sighs> yes! Oh yeah. I know auto resolve, but I, I just don't want to lose. Like if I can take a victory at this point, I'll take it because we have to beat them back and get control of the channel. That's the important thing. I would walk to the other world for my tribe. Okay, good for you. Okay, so we lost a lot of people. Oh, even our general. We were very smart because we didn't lose one of our family. Where's Busimaros? I'll take Busimaros. And just make sure that we lose Saumaros too. Bellatorix. Okay, we lost Bellatorix. We didn't lose Saumaros. So he's still okay. Are you still okay? You're still alive? That's beautiful. Gonna have to deal with these guys. We did a lot of damage, but yeah, um, it was hard. It was hard. They brought they brought a pretty heavy hammer down, and I thought that was what they're gonna do, and it was what they what they did. Um, I'm grateful we got these three. Oh my goodness, they could have been the difference between victory and defeat. So very grateful I got those three. Uh, we can't risk it, so I'm gonna quickly get three Tega Slogos. Because I want more to gain victory than anything else. Yes! Wipe them out utterly. Yeah! I'd rather do this. Um, plus, uh, from all the pillaging we got from them, we got a, f a fairly, I'd say we got a, it wasn't a loss, it wasn't a loss, I think we got a, a fairly neutral arrangement there, so yeah, we can disband, don't worry, we just needed you for that one, and don't need to pay the upkeep, so, yeah, I basically just hired those, inf uh, those mercenaries like, hey man, come up here, come fight for me, like, oh well, beats drinking and... <laughs> <laughs> and they just came and freaking fought. Uh, these guys, not five Urargi. What can I do to replace the Urargi? Uh, I don't want to replace them with something too expensive. If there's an option, because the Urargi is strong, but they, they're only that strong. Uh, I don't know if I want to replace them. If uh, if I can find something useful to replace them with, I would. Now what's... So only 131. Okay, now I'll, I'll stick to them because they're not too too tough, but at least they're numerous. Okay, so we're holding our own. These enemy transports are damaged, but they'll probably redouble back because they can. And my garrison is battered and withered and bruised. So, oh, whoa! Morite Satos! Good stuff! What's a Morite Satos? Is it strong? It's not this one. That's a tie. Oh, let's see. Tie set house is this one. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not great, not too bad. But okay, we should be able to hold. I'm very glad that I didn't put my family in the fleet because we this poor tree can't take more shaken. Don't shake him. Don't shake him. It's enough. We've got enough of that. Uh, how's our influence doing? It's it's waning. It's actually waning. That's terrible. Spend a little bit of cash there because for some reason our influence is still waning. Like I thought we got these upgrades. I'm gonna have to get more of these upgrades because it seems plus two is still not enough to auto get us up there. At least that's back. Yeah, just just leave it alone. Don't even bother with upgrading that. Um, let's see. This guy's making 15 iron. 50! Oh goodness! Whoa! That's a lot of iron. Uh, will that help us? That's a, oh, what the heck is a Duro Trigus Totanakoi? I can't. It looks like I might have pronounced that correctly. That's <laughs> amazing. Um, 
Whoa, 507,395. What the, what's the point of this one? It's such a little benefit. It's like plus four growth, uh, one plus two. It's, why would anybody take the normal one? The trade up seems pathetic. This one still gives us a lot of cash. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. As soon as we get our public orders uh, fixed. But for now, we're just gonna defend. So let's see what the next turn. Hmm, we got like a lot of cash. Can I, I can't hire a mercenary fleet. Nope, still not. Okay, let's see what the next turn brings. Hmm, they're coming again. They're coming from everywhere. Oh goodness, look at this. You will not break our resolve. Hold, oh man, is it taking us. It is damaging us so heavily. We lost another family. We, we, we can't put family in this fleet again. Wow, they are bringing the pain. Just wow, they are bringing the pain. Goodness, I hope that really drained their reserves. Like, frick. Now, this is the cost. This is the cost of holding this frickin' channel. You will not take this channel again. We will have to hold it no matter what. <sighs> it's frickin' rough when they do it like this. That's real rough. Like when they're bringing damage down at this scale. Two freaking thank goodness I didn't put my family in there family it's a new policy family is not in the fleet the fleet is from now on gonna be the external chieftains it might make them angry but we have literally no choice we have to start pushing these freaking people back uh, we just need to freaking stop them at some point and gain control of this freaking channel okay let's see I'm so sorry Busamaros is down. I like Busamaros. Now we're basically gonna just need to choose Frickadek no. Uh, okay, Arseni Chieftains is the one we don't. Eberios, I hope you're loyal. I, I, I haven't had a chance to even look at how loyal they are because they've been wiped out so fast. What? Romans. Romans. Oh no. Roman expansion starting. Like, are you... Can you please prioritize the right enemies? Are you... They're not even at war with the freaking Romans yet. You're so stubborn! Just make peace. Look how lopsided we are against the Romans. We've spent so much time just trying to defend against these... <sighs> I should never have landed in France. We will. That's the biggest problem is I freaking landed in France and wasted so many turns holding, trying to hold down that city. Oh, I could have had so much uh, more by that point in time. Okay, so at least they, they're really beaten back. We're still not strong against them. Look at this difference. Look at that! They're at war with everybody and everybody can't stop them. Just look at their faces like, aha, the world is mine! You just don't know it yet. So that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be real rough working if the Romans are starting to infiltrate. And we can't gain any territorial advantage anyway because of you freaking scumbags and you're breaking up the rules. Oh, it's painful. Okay. Okay, let's see. let's see. Is there anything we can do to actually freaking help? I mean, it would be... At least it would be historically accurate to be defeated by the Romans, but... F just couldn't get unstuck, even from this position. This game is not joking around. This mod game. The other one's okay, but frick, this, this, this mod ain't joking around at all. Okay, that'll give me the wealth benefit. I'll go take a wealth benefit. Give me, give me the canary. Give me the coal. Give me the freaking... Is it the reservoir? Yes, the reservoir becomes the canals. Give me that. 
Cost us some money. Cost us a lot of money. We can't afford to lose settlements again, so unfortunately we just had to do it this way. There. Get this freaking place. It's still negative 22. Like, it is so hard getting you freaking lazy people up above the threshold of misery. Like, we, we won. We won the fight. Why are you acting this way? Okay, okay, but... Uh, put them on sneak so they can chill. And then we'll see what happens. Let's just roll for another turn. Okay. Can you help with this small matter? I'm not gonna lie, we're gonna do a cheap. Nah, because you're not strong. If this was the Averni, it'll be something different, but they're not that strong. I'm not too concerned about the Osses me attacking me. Uh, I'd, if there was somebody stronger, then yes, but freaking Osses me, nah. I, I've practically voluntarily gave them that city to give the Averni a second front to worry about. And the Averni aren't even fighting them for some reason. They're just like, ah, it's, when, when I own that city, it's a problem. But when freaking Osses me owned it, nah, it ain't no issue. No, no problem. Mission failed. What are you talking about? I freaking. Oh, I will not have this again. Where, where are those freaking pirates? We will not have it. That's why I built this fleet. It's to stop the pirates. What's you? Oh, no. He's coming to assassinate me. Oh, goodness. He is coming to assassinate me. That's no joke. A very, very strong freaking soldier right there. Uh, let's see. He got a lot of cash. Miserably slow benefits. Uh growth in public order <sighs> Tautatis? Yeah, Tautatis! Okay, okay, so we got pirates somewhere ruining my life yet again um, Cumulative growth, we need to get this growth up So this is gonna be a peaceful phase. I almost wonder if I should even put this, this on the videos because it's gonna be real chill We're just gonna be... because we, we can see the machine of war we can't build a sustainable one with our current economy. It's It keeps falling apart. It just can't make it. Can't make it. So we're gonna... Oh, zero. Just barely. It's at zero. So, not gonna... Well, wait, what's what's the negatives about planetary? Contributing factors. Doesn't it have a, a public order impact? You'd think it'd have a public order impact. I would think that. Ooh, what the freak? This is not even a big empire. Goodness. That's what cost them a freaking... Okay, I'm gonna need to look into empire maintenance. I had no idea it would cost this much. What the freak? Why is it this expensive? What am I even upgrading at the moment? Uh, is it this... Uh, oh yeah, it's just freaking getting the banditry down. Oh, at least it was that one. Oh, that's just some bad stuff right there. Um, okay, so we're just on chill mode. These guys are chill. These oh, they were beaten back. They finally seem to have given up. So I can see silver. So I'm gonna do the scoot giants change here. Hopefully, it doesn't come back to bite me. No, you'd be surprised. Um, <laughs> these are late. Okay, I made my choice. I, I'm keeping with the Ambaktoi, but these guys, I'm still wondering about the Urargi. But because the Urargi are so dirt cheap to maintain, they are definitely the more attractive option for now. These guys are rapidly becoming more feasible because even though the upkeep is expensive, they are still both us. So they're not the most difficult to source. I mean, these guys are air. Aren't they air? Should be air. Oh, they're also both us. What the frick? What? Oh, they actually weaken attack. The race is pretty balanced. Yeah, charge bonus is higher. Real freaky. Okay, let's think about it. Uh, so, got that. I'm not gonna. Who would even touch this? It's such a silly little weapon. At least that's good. But yeah, we'll, we'll be waiting for a while. It's going to take me a really long time to get the, the desire to 
attack again because we need to really strengthen this province up before doing that. So I'll do one more turn and we'll end this video. It does look like we've actually managed to do what we set out to do. It looks like we have beaten them back and we might be on the verge of getting control of the English Channel. So fantastic! Okay, so we got an assassin. Oh no. oh no! Oh no! 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 Where Bertigala? Bertigala? Where the fix Bertigala? Where is these pirates? Where are they? I'm gonna. Oh, Bertigala is all the way down here. Okay. Oh, beautiful. At least. Yes. Get out of here. Um, but something makes me wonder. Um, because. Uh, oh, the Volkai are gone. Yep. I welcome you on behalf of the Senate. Well, I tried. I tried. So you still have a Senate up there. Okay, okay. No Emperor. Oh, uh, well, does the Senate still survive with the Emperor? I think you did. I'm sorry, I forgot the basic facts. Get out of here. This is time for me to assert dominance over the channel. Yeah, all the way back. This is our channel now. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> this is my channel. I'm gonna need a bigger fleet, you're true, you're correct. Uh, okay, so, we realized Emperor Empire maintenance is a lot more brutal than we thought. Even at this punier size. So, let's let's put in uh, cultural conversion. How's our culture looking? How's our culture looking? Is it, is it, are we still far, are we finally in control? Ah, uh, it's still rough. Still a lot of wowly, but we're getting it under control. Okay, okay. 1,447,000 people. That's beautiful. Let's see how many are in Hibernia. 140. Plus minus. I take the, I take the bulk in the center. The Bosa and Sinchalete. You are the bread and butter of our people. So, just take a look at them. Okay, let's see. So, I'm gonna probably want to get that. What's this? Oh, even more. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, that's a total of minus 8. And we're already at negative 11, so yeah, I want to do that, save that money, and not fall for the problems. Uh, you keep on ambushing, because ambushing be done, ambushing be best. Uh, okay, okay, so it looks like I have managed to take control of the channel. This is fantastic. Are you still not going to make peace? Okay, uh, it's your choice. Get out of here. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Um, you had your choice. You could have made peace, but you chose not to. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that. Woo! We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Don't worry, everybody. We'll get there. So, oh, just get under the clouds. So thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to save up. We appear to have at least got a tenuous grip on the channel, which is better than it was. And we'll just keep on smashing down, smashing down, smashing down upon the Avern until we finally weaken their resolve and we can take one of their cities. Which will still probably be Eolio Bona. Very, very likely. But yeah, thank you very much, everybody. This has been Edward Child with the Rome 2 Total War, the Vida Tempera mod, the Iceni Heart campaign. And as slow as progress is, at least there's progress. It was hard won. Two Perek victories. Two of them. Almost lost lost two freaking chieftains. We lost a lot. It took a lot to defend against that hit, but from there we can hopefully build on to eventual victory. Only to be crushed by the Romans at this point. I really hope somebody can can just chill the Romans because frick if we have to deal with them, they are very already that tough. So I, I really hope it's not that the case. But yeah, we'll we'll see what the what it brings. So thank you very much everybody. It's been Edward Side, have a very good day. Bye bye.